that uh, classic success in a race uh, John Ox has uh, yet to win. Mantari's locked away, ready to run, and they're away in the First National Building Society Irish 2000 Guineas, and our team are broke smartly in the centre. Quintiliani uh, tracking Mantari towards the outside, Mantari crossing over now as they reach the end of the first furlong, and it's Mantari who leads them with uh, Nice on the inside, our team are just behind them on the outer, then the uh, orange colours of uh, Grand Lodge just uh, behind the leaders, guided tour tracks him. There, followed uh, towards the outside by Intar, Ridgewood Bend towards the back, and the favourite Turtle Island is last of all in the early stages. As they race towards the elbow now, they've covered almost two furlongs, and it's Mantari out in front, tracked by Grand Lodge, then Artima. Behind these on the inside is Nice, then Indhar. Right of the picture, Quintiliani with Ridgewood Ben. Guided tour behind them, and Turtle Island still in rear as they come up now towards the halfway stage in the Irish 2000 Guineas, and Mantari in the lead. Grand Lodge moving up on the outside. Between horses is Nice, and four is Indhar, and a gap then of three lengths to uh, Artima ahead of Ridgewood Ben and Guided Tour, and still at the back, Turtle Island, as they race towards the final three furlongs, and Grand Lodge has uh, moved up to show fractionally ahead now of Mantari. Tari being wound up by Johnny Murtha, nice just behind them. Ridgewood Ben makes ground, Intar looking for room. And they're followed by our team under pressure. Turtle Island beginning to get closer now, but it's Grand Lodge the leader as they race inside the last two furlongs from Ridgewood Ben. Here comes Turtle Island on the right of the picture. Mantari's beaten, then guided tour. Our team can't quicken, but racing towards the final furlong. It's Turtle Island smoothly on the outside from Ridgewood Ben. Grand Lodge drops away, guided tour staying on, but racing to the final furlong. It's Turtle Island sprinting away from them in the ground. Turtle Island putting up a most impressive performance, flying through the final furlong, racing away to win this in most emphatic fashion as they race up to the line. Turtle Island absolutely annihilates the opposition. This could be up to 15 lengths. Turtle Island, on his own, wins the Irish Guineas. A strap for second place. Guided Tour and Ridgewood Ben involved. Grand Lodge is fourth. Quintiliani, five. Six is Indhar. Seven, nice. Eight is uh, Artima. And a disappointing Mantari trails in last. You seldom see a classic one in that style. Last in the early stages, Turtle Island has absolutely trounced his eight rivals and justified favouritism. The five to four favourite under John Reed, a twelfth Irish classic success for Robert Sangster, a second for Peter Chapel Hyam. And uh, what can one say, Ted? Well, Tony, on soft ground, I've never seen a better performance. This horse, as Mikey Canan said early on, it all depends on what handles this ground. This fella handled it. John, a little bit anxious there. Moses out behind Artima. Uh, to get into a bit of position. The boys in front have a march of about five or six lengths, but it must be very testing ground because the three in front absolutely trot once they come off the bridle. Turtle Island, our next shot, shows him tracking Ridgewood Ben as he comes there, absolutely cantering over him. Indar is back there in fifth. There's Ridgewood Ben with the breast skirt and the white sleeves. Turtle Island directly behind him. Mick Canan on the right with our team. Grand Lodge is still in front at this stage. Mantari is distress signals and he's on a backward slide at the moment. Now Turtle Island is absolutely cruising in behind Ridgewood Ben, who's gone for everything. Guy de Tour has run a cracker. He's back there behind Grand Lodge at this stage and he gets up, I think, to be second. But Turtle Island is absolutely cantering at this stage and it's only a matter of John Reed letting out an inch of rain. He doesn't even have to press the accelerating bu acceleration button, but he does. He just changed his hands and says go, and this horse quickens up in this very, very soft ground. Heavy McCannan describes the last furlong and a half of it and goes right away to win as far as you'd see a horse win a Cheltenham Gold Cup or uh, an Irish National. He absolutely skates in. you think the others were knelt to the ground behind him as he goes further and further and further away. John keeps him up to his job, just pushes him out hands and heels. He's going to put plenty of distance, and on this kind of ground, this is a serious racehorse. I haven't seen a more impressive horse over a mile, and as we said beforehand,